You know what, before we start this, let's change this card's color from red to blue. I swear to God this worked the last time. Good morning, my gorgeous friends on the internet. In this episode, we're gonna take a look at some of the worst websites on the internet. Well, according to this article, so they might be wrong. Don't judge me. We're gonna judge it for ourselves and we're gonna take our the developer mentality, whatever that means. And we're, <laughs> we're gonna see how we can improve them. So take a break from your tutorials. All right, close them up in your tab and let's have some fun. Okay, so I picked this 2014 article that says top 10 worst website you, you wish you hadn't seen. And the, <laughs> the reason why I picked this one from 2014 is to give the people chance to actually improve it from there on out. It's been five years. So I want to see if some of them have upgraded or not. So let's take a look here. So let's scroll down. The first one is called uglytop.com. I don't know. I, <laughs> I wouldn't name any of my websites with ugly uh, in the name, but hey, let's see how it is. And you know what? This actually doesn't look too bad. So we're going to nitpick this apart a bit uh, because I see a few things that I would change. But the original website actually looked like this. You had this lady here yelling at you ugly tub like you don't want that <laughs> and this guy's naked and falling into the bathtub like that happens every time to me i'm not gonna lie so here what we have is it's actually very decent uh, i like that they considered adding the background here to the uh, text here so they added that drop shadow to make it pop so you usually want to add that whenever you have a very light background over very light text as well because this would blend in together very poorly if you didn't have that drop shadow what's going on here okay let's <laughs> skip so here as you can see if you would have just white it would be pretty uh, hard to read so that's good uh, everything else looks okay uh, they still messed this up a bit here this looks a bit uh, squashed the logo uh, and i think this is a png or something. Let's analyze this really quickly. I have my iPad mode here. Let's go. Not responsive. All right. How do we? All right. Let's go out here for mobile view. Um, yeah, it's just an image. It could have been replaced. To be honest, this could have been just either text that would have looked better, or just have an SVG with the shape here. But other than that, this looks okay. This looks fine. So they did improve a lot. And we have this empty space. I don't, I'm not a big fan. Oh, we have a gallery. Take a look at that, boys. We have a gallery, but there's no gallery. I do see some bubbles popping up here. Let, let's zoom in on that. All right, so something is loading, but unfortunately it's not for some reason. So that's a shame, but I'd probably keep the gallery also separate from the contact page. I wouldn't want them side by side. Uh, I, I don't think that's a good idea. So other than that, this looks completely fine. Uh, if it's mobile friendly as well, I'm gonna be very surprised. So let's take a look. Let's make this smaller and take a look. That's actually pretty okay. Good job, uglytub.com. I'm impressed. All right, this actually looks pretty okay. I'm. It's not amazing, it's not great looking, but it's not terrible. Uh, so yeah, I'm actually very hopeful to see where this is gonna go. The second one is called Mr. Battle. All right, that's my alias name next to Dimitri Marco. Let's take a look at Mr. Battles. Whoa, wow, look at that animation. Oh my goodness, this uses GSAP or something. So we have these bottles here, which are just images that are animated in. And the funny thing here is that we actually have these lines. Can you see those white lines around the bottle here? Which just means that they try to cut this out in Photoshop, uh, but the contrast between the bottle and the background wasn't too good. And the image resolution of the bottle was pretty low quality. So when you try to refine the edges, uh, it would leave that white mark around it. So it makes it look kind of cheap, doesn't look that great, uh, which is unfortunate because I do appreciate the animation that they included in here. I do like the piggy though, reminds me when I was a small child. So that's cool. And it animates, so when we hover over all of them, it animates. I guess it's a cool idea, I just think it could have been done better. I don't like the background, uh, it's just an image slapped onto there. Like I get what they were trying to go with, but yeah. Uh, take a look, we also have the piggy up here. So I think just having a normal text would have been fine here. Or maybe just highlight it as with a, just a simple background. 
uh, that would have been fine as well. Uh, the logo here, or whatever this is, is fine. I like it. I think it looks quite okay. Uh, the font here, though, oh my goodness. It looks like my second grade handwriting. All right, so I know that's medicine. We have milk, and the S's there look like some Harry Potter stuff. W Wisconsin glass. All right. Uh, so probably a more readable font would be here. Uh, and we got the classic tickle look at that. You know what that means? You know what that means? That means that they use floats, which wraps the text around the image. That's fire, all right? That's old school stuff. <laughs> so we got that going on here with this image and this image. Uh, other than that, I don't know what to say. I mean, it's pretty basic. We have just a super black background across some white text with some images kind of placed all around the place. We have one here, here. These two are in the middle. This one's here for no ap apparent reason. I would just put these together in one place. And um, yeah, I think that would be make more sense than this. This is quite hard to read because we usually tend to read from left to right. And then we expect to start from the same line again. All right. So we start from here, read till the end and then go from here again. But here it kind of messes up the flow because we start reading from here because they just tuck an image here. Does this really add anything to my website? Huh? It doesn't really do anything for me. I just feel like it's in the way. Uh, all around, I wouldn't even do the black on white because the contrast between that is way too strong and it's going to hurt my eyes after I read this uh, for a few minutes. So Mr. Bottle, I'm giving it a 5 out of 7. Next up is Javelin. Jamelin. Jamelin will give us the secret for a long, healthy life and will keep our faces young. All right, that's what it is. I think that I just read it for like three seconds. Ooh, look at that. All right, try for free. That's the first thing that pops in my eyes. So we're off to a good start here. That's pretty good. Inner balance, outer beauty, 60 years young. Do what I do. Ageless skincare. All right, so if you apply the thing, you go from looking like this to looking like this. And this lady, I don't, I don't think it worked for her because she's either crying or laughing with joy. I'm not sure. Maybe she's scared of this little house here. I would be scared. If I would see a little house in this guy's hand, I would be like... And, and like, I'm not messing around here. This is actually the size of the website. So the text is this small and it is like this. I'm not zoomed out or anything just to prove it. As you can see, I'm 100% here in. Like, I would do it like this or something, right? But yeah, it's really small. They should have done like this. Let's take a look at this nav. It has all the colors in the world. And, you know, I actually find, find this quite interesting. I, I, it's horrible. Don't get me wrong. It doesn't look good. I feel like what they did was they just went around the room and they were like, what color will my website be? And they would just pick up random things. Ooh, it's a red. And also we have just a uh, random text here across, which is part of the image. This is actually not text. And the, how do I know that is because it's blurry. Look, if I zoom in, it's very blurry. So I, I wouldn't do that anymore. We're in 2019. So probably just text across would be better. We also have old school flash going on here. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Brings back some memories. Uh, and what happens if I click on this allow? Look at that. We just have a nice little subtle image in there in the corner. And we have the lady again that was traumatized by the house. We also have these from fontawesome.com. So if you want to get some SVGs, <laughs> you can pop there and get these. Oh no. Yeah, well, I, I, to be honest, I wasn't expecting more. All right, let's take a look at the next one. Oh, take a look. We had some nice animation there. And this one is okay. It doesn't look too bad. Uh, to be honest, yeah, this is fine. I'm like 100% assuming all the logos are just images. Uh, yeah, there we go. So again, this kind of looks blurry on my display, which is which is always unfortunate. It makes the website look really unprofessional. I wish this would have been centered there. Uh, we have some, whoa, we have some weird gradient going on here. Is this clickable? It's not clickable. Money back guaranteed. We also have some meat going on here. Uh, this red is a bit strong. I'm not a big fan of it. Yeah, as, my eye is, ah! The color you want to go for is the color that this card has. Take a look at this one, all right? It's red and we have some white on there. 
but it, it blends in better because the contrast is a bit smaller, so your eyes don't hurt. But if you're blasting this strong red with white, you're gonna go mad. And just text, 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 and oh my goodness. All right, let's go down here. We got Sexy Boy here uh, showing us the meat, if you know what I mean. Uh, we have some people just shopping, looking depressed. Uh, if we go down here, we do have a map. Hey, we have Google Maps integrated in the website. Nice. Oh, never mind. It's just an image. No, this could have been decent. This could have been decent. It's not hard to implement it. And we have that red going on here. So if you did manage to get down here on this website, this is what you have. Last but not least, we're gonna take a look at the ultimate website, all right? You have to prepare for this. Okay, take a drink, relax. <sighs> okay, let's take a look. Orngreen.net. Jesus, please erase this from the planet Earth. Take a look at this. I feel like people that created this website were like, let's try to fit as much information as possible uh, into this website so the users can see everything at once. And this is the thing that you have, just no empty space left. Your eyes just go randomly across the screen. You don't know what to focus on. And yeah, this looks quite crazy. It's actually very impressive, I'm not gonna lie, how they fitted the whole thing here. Of course, it's not mobile responsive. This website is probably really old. No structure, just everything plopped there on the screen and we can actually scroll scroll horizontally and vertically in case uh, you wanna get to more things. So this would be probably pretty cool on a white screen, you get to see more stuff. Never mind, it's not that bad. We have Christmas going down here. And there's Santa too, here, down in the corner. Santa! Hi. Wait. Wait a minute. Who's this intruder? Another one. This is some fake Christmas. All right, I'm done with this. So thank you again very much for coming with me on this small little journey. If you like these type of videos, let me know. Maybe I'll do a part two. Who knows? And you know what? We actually didn't change the card color from red to blue. You know what? This episode is not over. Hold on. I'll get my card. <laughs> Where's the card? And until next time, I want you to have a blue, blue Christmas.